Did, did Brian back find no, the dog? Did he taste the dog? Come on down. Can you stop just for a moment so we can just get a quick quick There's comment from you? There's going to be pre-trial motion. There will be post-trial motions filed in this. Okay, we so just be, reaction to the verdict. We will be appealing uh, this verdict. It's one of the first uh, convictions from a jury verdict of an aggravated animal cruelty case. Second of all, the facts of this case we don't think fit the law as it relates to the fact that they created this law, the legislation did several years ago, for the purpose of going after the serial murderers of cats and dogs who takes them and, and, and have a systematic torture plan to it. This was done at the time when she was being held captive by her boyfriend at the time. Those charges were dismissed by the district attorney. I have no idea why. Because he confessed to it at the time that he was holding her against her will and he took away her phone. And they put her down as they put Brian Beck down as a witness. And we expected him to be here. He did not come. So without uh, he would have committed perjury, he would have probably committed another felony. Uh, who knows? But we all we will be appealing the verdict. Thank you very much. Uh, can I ask you one last thing? Yes, she said she says Brian Beck. Did Brian Beck tape and bind this dog? From everything I know, he certainly was in control of the situation and he did a lot of the taping and, the, and a lot of it and he was in control and controlling her. Why Thank didn't Nappy testify in her own defense? Because Mr. Beck did not arrive and put it was up there for the jury to acquit her. Thank you. So just, again, reaction to the verdict today. Um, I'm very happy with the verdict. This is a really important case for our office. Uh, we just established a new animal abuse protocol and so this this is, was an important case, um, was part of what led us to establish the protocol. There's been a few cases in Boulder lately, uh, animal abuse, and this is certainly a good victory for us. It, it gives us a good sense of what the community feels about this kind of act, and, and it's important to have a case to, um, for the felony, the felony is a relatively new, um, is a relatively new statute on the books that used to just be, we used to only have misdemeanor animal abuse in, in Colorado, and so it's nice to have a good test case for our community here in Boulder, so it was a very important victory. How precedent setting is this case statewide? Um, it's hard to say. Uh, it's, it seems to be, uh, there are other counties I think that, that are able, or not able, but they have, seems like more felony uh, animal abuse cases than we do here in Jury Boulder. trial though, convictions um, on felony animal abuse? Yeah, not that many, so it might actually, yeah, it could be. What is your hope for what this will do then in terms of it being, you know, sort of precedent setting landmarked like? Yeah, I hope that it will set a precedent. I hope that it will, it'll be a message to the whole community, our whole Colorado community, that this is something that we take seriously and that we're going to prosecute.